Uh, Glenn, new port up at the weekend, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, no, we're really looking forward to it as a group. Uh, we all know what we need to go there and do. It's not going to be an easy game, um, but it's time for us to really start picking up a bit of form and getting consistent wins, and then hopefully we'll roll on from there. Obviously, being in a few weeks now, signed just on just before the transfer deadline, I think how have you adjusted to life so far? Are you enjoying it here? Yeah, no, I've been really enjoying it. Um, it's been it's been good to be back in and around the first team environment with games at the weekend. Um, and yeah, like I say, we just need to sort of push on and see how the next few weeks go. And your debut for the club as well on Saturday at Cambridge, maybe could have gone a bit better with the result and things like that. But you enjoy being out there in a Bradford City shirt for the first time? Yeah, I loved it, just being back out on a pitch. Um, but at the same time, the result isn't good enough. And as I say, we need to start picking, picking results up week in, week out now and, and getting a bit of momentum going. And I suppose, on a personal note, it's a, it's a good opportunity now for you to kick on, really, obviously, an appearance potentially this weekend. And then you've still got your home debut to make as well in front of the, the crowd at Utility Energy Stadium. I'm presuming you've seen you know, what, what it was like for Stuart's first game and everything like that. I suppose it's something you're looking forward to. No, I am, um, yeah. Uh, I saw straight away what the fans were like. Uh, obviously, playing at Ibrox, the, the fans expect a lot, and it, it seems to be the same here. Uh, you wouldn't get 20,000 fans turning up if it wasn't going to be like that. Um, so the expectations are, and it's up to, to me and like the other boys, as I say, to, to get things going. I think them experiences at Rangers then will help you, obviously, quite a bit of success last season in the squad and things like that in front of, like you say, a lot of supporters coming here at a club like this. Do you think that's going to help you moving forward, playing in front of crowds like that? Yeah, definitely. I think every player sort of throws off that. Uh, they love playing in front of a crowd. Uh, it adds to the occasion sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting out there and uh, hopefully putting on good performances. And you were signed by one manager and then you come to the club and you're, you're playing under a different manager, Stuart McCaw is obviously an ex-Rangers manager himself. How much have you got on with him, I suppose? How have you enjoyed working with him so far? Yeah, as I said before, it's been really good so far. I think he's slowly, over the last few weeks, getting his message across to all the boys and how he, his style he wants us to play and how he wants us to be brave in the ball and sort of take the game by command sort of thing and impose ourselves on it so yeah, hopefully on Saturday we continue to do that and for the supporters who didn't catch you and you know at the, at the Cambridge game what can they expect to see from you what kind of a player would you would you class yourself as you're obviously a left-sided sort of wing player do mm -hmm. you think you know you, you're kind of the exciting kind of player that the supporters want to see here yeah definitely I think maybe old-fashioned in ways I like staying out while he's getting the ball and uh, running at my man 1v1 I'll always try and be as direct as I can and create chances for teammates but also try and chip in a few goals every now and then as well and what can we expect from Newport? They started the season quite well. I don't suppose you'll have taken much attention to it while at Rangers, but they've, they've slipped off in recent times, but still have quite a few games in hand. I think we're expecting a difficult game against them. Yeah, I think we all know no, no game in this league is going to be easy at all. Uh, every team's going to come at us with different sort of their different strengths, and we've got to impose ourselves in the game. Uh, it's, it's not going to be easy uh, going into Saturday, but I think if we, in the first 15, 20 minutes, ride the sort of battle that it will be uh, and then play our football, I think we'll be fine. Training hasn't been easy, I don't suppose, over the past few weeks with the weather and whatnot. We've been training at different locations on different pitches and things like that. Has it been difficult to adjust? Has it been a challenge that you've had to sort of relish in a way? Uh, at, at times, yeah, but I think you can only make use of what you can do. Uh, you need to sort of roll your sleeves off at times and just get on and do the work. Uh, and then on Saturday, it's, it's, about, it's about doing the same and getting the results that matter. And having seen what we've seen both in training and in the games as well is the confidence obviously took the lead and led for quite a long time at Cambridge on Saturday is the confidence ahead of the, the Newport game based on that that we can go down there and get a result? Yeah definitely I think every, everyone knows what's at stake everyone needs a win and then from there we go on from that uh, and as I say the manager slowly getting his points across and the confidence is building in the squad um, and then yeah it's just about taking that into the games.